An update tonight on the animals involved in a cruelty investigation out of Allen Parish. Good evening, I'm Andrea Robinson. An Oakdale man was cited for multiple counts of animal cruelty after animals in his care were found in poor health. The animals have since been taken to a rehabilitation facility. KPLC's Devin DeStefano visited Hayden's Hoofbeat Haven to meet the animals and tells us how they're doing. And a warning, some viewers may find these images disturbing. It was time somebody step in. Brittany Ware is the founder of Hayden's Hoofbeat Haven. We try to work with the owners, but if it gets to a point that they're not acknowledging the work that they're trying to do or the situation gets worse, then we have to do what we need to do to get them where they need to be. Ware took in four horses and one donkey that were in need of rehabilitation after being the center of neglect. They went from could have been on death's door and not seeing another day to getting to have a whole second chance with a different life. Unfortunately, a new life wasn't in the cards for one of the horses. He sadly had to be euthanized because of his condition. He just, he was too far gone. Ware says she's been around horses her whole life and has always had a love for animals. Her mission is to simply give them a better life. And that I want to try and make a better situation because I understand people want these animals and I mean, what person wouldn't want a horse? I mean, it's just, you can't not want to be around them, but there's a right way and there's a wrong way. And I want to be the one to be able to to educate people. Being there day in and day out for these animals takes all hands on deck. If it wouldn't be for my family and the people that I have backing me and helping me, like I said, I wouldn't be able to do this by myself. It takes a team to be able to do this. A team that believes in second chances, as the worst is over for this group of malnourished animals. I don't want to see them in this condition, but I am so glad that I am blessed enough to be able to help them get them out of this condition. Ware says she expects the remaining animals to make a full recovery. In Oakdale, Devin Stefano, 7 News. You can find information on how to donate to Hayden's Hoofbeat Haven or Humane Society of Louisiana by going to this story on our website at kplctv.com.